Today in the grain market, soybeans were easier. Futures did enter a correction mode, and mainly because of COVID and all that is surrounding it and uh, the concerns of uncertainty. But China is still buying for the 13th day in a row, but experts are saying that it's slowing somewhat, so there is a little bit of nervousness in the market. Now, corn was steady today, maybe a little bit easier, uh, because China, sa China sales has been underpinning uh, the market, and so, uh, as long as that continues, it's going to be difficult to really press this market much lower. But there is bearish uh, concerns about uh, the COVID expansion as we move into the fall. Uh, and I, there are some worries that, uh, you know, there's going to be more lockdowns. And so we've got to watch that uh, closely just to see what, how much impact that's going to have on these grain markets right now. Plus, there is favorable harvest conditions as harvest uh, continues to add some pressure to the market. However, uh, corn did perform pretty well today. But we're going to watch that closely because we are well into harvest time right now. Wheat was lower today. Uh, large ending uh, world stocks uh, are... Uh, are really at issue right now, the mixing, making the market more vulnerable for corrective action as we have seen already. Uh, the, the dry weather for uh, uh, winter wheat planting is also upon us and that should weigh a little bit on this market as well. So overall we're going to be watching this closely as we move to the end of the week and uh, fall and all the harvest pressure is going to make it a little more difficult for these markets to recover. Uh, not saying that it can't happen but it's going to be just a little more difficult from here.